One might have the impression that we only look for more political uh, background or foreign affairs, but actually we need transport experts, we need informaticians, we need archivists, uh, translators of course. I've really enjoyed working here at the Council. Um, firstly, you get to meet um, lots of people from all the other member states. Um, you get to work on really closely on issues that affect European citizens um, as well and with that learning how the EU policy making process works and especially um, how member states negotiate with one another. I am a trainee at a Czech translation unit. I get to translate all kinds of documents, sometimes it's just council minutes of meetings, sometimes it's web materials, sometimes it's decisions and inner documents for the inner use of the council. It's quite varied. It feels nice knowing that somewhere out there there are documents with my initials on them now. Working in the press office of the council has been a great experience for me. You practically work as a press officer and when there is a European council the Tunis are asked to help out the press team. We report on national press conferences and keep an eye on what is happening on social media right before, during and after the meeting. My name is Anna Crespo. Um, I've been working here uh, at the council for the last five years. I started uh, doing a traineeship. I had the pleasure to, to be at the press office, uh, precisely with the deputy spokesperson of uh, Herman Van Rompuy, the former uh, president of the European Council. And uh, well, since then I've been uh, having different positions and uh, always connected to communication and, and media. What I've seen happen to quite a few trainees is that they came here maybe relatively inexperienced or um, used to working in an academic setting and then they left with a much greater sense of what it's like to you know, work in an office context, um, work also in, in a European context and even in a, in a political context because here at the Council we are so close to European politics. This is where EU leaders meet. This program is quite extensive and is, uh, his scope is to give um, a deeper knowledge of the European Union as such, or European institutions in this case as such, uh, and also to create um, a bonding feeling amongst them so they can go away at the end of their traineeship having you know, a network. We have a very high rate of uh, job finding after after the end of our traineeship. 